What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of JAR. JAR, for those of you that may be new, stands for Joe. And Amy. Review. This is our weekly show where we go over the magic stories as they are posted on Wizards' website. Although, last week, this week, and for the coming weeks, um, we are also reviewing the magic story podcasts as they are posted. Uh, hosted by Blake Rasmussen uh, and featuring, if you will, Allison Lures. This week, uh, or last week, this week, uh, they've been focusing on the tribes from Commander 2017, and this week in particular, we had the Wizards tribe. Um, my quick review at the beginning is very similar to my quick review from last week, except a little bit more positivity. Um, I was entertained. I enjoyed listening to this one, at least in terms of the c comedy factor, etc. Uh, the banter was nice between the two of them. The information that was brought up was a little bit more relevant. Uh, some of the names were names that we hadn't heard in a while and um, kind of gave us a little bit of insight into the actual stories of these characters, which is important for the Magic Story podcast. And we'll get more in depth into that in the full review itself, but because of that, I would say that it was nicer. It's definitely a little bit more worth your time, but on a smaller scale, but still true, uh, I think that this one was still skippable. Uh, if you want to know about some of the wizards in Magic, then maybe you want to listen to it. You want to hear little tidbits, and maybe that's just enough. It wets your whistle. You want to go look up some of their names if you're not familiar with them, things like that. Um, so yeah, I, I think I was a little bit more optimistic on it than you were, maybe. I don't know, what, what was yeah, your Yeah, I have thoughts? to say, uh, my short review is, I agree, but I disagree. Okay. Um, it is definitely skippable. It is maybe slightly more entertaining than last week, um, but relevant? Mm, okay, you know? okay. Uh, I, I would say it's actually... I, I disagree in the in the fact that it's it's skippable. It it has to be skipped, really. So so uh, there were parts where I laughed, yes, but I feel like all the other parts where they tried to be funny and tried to be cute with each other, it really just seemed like they were flirting, and I didn't want to be privy to it. <laughs> Like, I want it to be far away. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Um, so that's that's the quick review at the beginning. Uh, if you want to go listen to the podcast first, it was only like 17 minutes and change. It was very, very short. Um, you can go ahead and do that, and then feel free to come back here and hear our thoughts on it. But we review, we don't summarize, so if you want to listen to it first, uh, please go do so. On to the full review itself. Uh, here's... This is kind of a discussion that we've had a lot on JAR in the past, and by we, I mean I've brought it up a lot, but we've both discussed it. Um, Sorry. <laughs> God bless you. Thanks. <laughs> that was terrifying. Anyway, um, we've, we've had this discussion... It was discussion. more interesting than the podcast. Wow. We've had... That's mean. <laughs> we've, we've had this discussion a lot, um, I feel like, if you've been following along for all of these multitudes of episodes. Uh, I like it when the story helps to uh, enhance the product. In this case, I don't know that it did that. That this podcast helped to enhance the product. I would, to, I would very much say it didn't. Today, the day that we're recording this, the day that the podcast came out was also the day that they were spoiling vampires. And in this podcast, and, and that was <coughs> last week's topic, which we discussed, and you can go watch that video. Um, it'll probably be linked for you at the end. But uh, the we discussed that, and that one was, in my opinion, much worse than this one. Um, in terms of quality, in terms of presentation, in terms of kind of all of it. Uh, and then this week, and then today, we get the preview of those vampires. If today was the vampire podcast, you might have actually been able to talk about the cards that you spoiled today. And then, instead of making today about dragons, since that's what they previewed yesterday, they made today about wizards, which they're previewing 
tomorrow, which, or spoiling, I guess would be the, the proper term. It, it seems very disjointed to me to do it that way. And I can understand that you needed one tribe to be before preview season because you didn't want to do the first look at Ixalan and then four weeks of Commander and then Ixalan. I get that. But at the same time, then have your first one be dragons, maybe. Because dragons are, as they pointed out in this one, which is what they're doing next week, um, it very is... well known. It's very well known. It's very heavily talked about, sought after. Um, there are a lot more, I feel like, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like there are a lot more names in dragons, especially more recently with uh, dragons of Tarkir and the dragon lords. Um, but you've also got kind of the invasion dragons that existed back then. You've got elder dragons like uh, Nicol Bolas, but like from way long ago where they were actual elder dragons um, <clears throat> as opposed to big, powerful planeswalkers. Uh, you could have done that first since there's such a breadth of material to talk about with that. And then uh, done, like I said, maybe vampires today so that you could have talked about what you previewed. Because otherwise, you're you're teasing something in a podcast the day before it's actually being spoiled, and yet at the same time, if you go on Twitter, and maybe some people who listen to this podcast and, and watch this show don't go on Twitter um, or follow these people on Twitter, but if you go on Twitter, there were Wizards staff members throwing out hints of cards that are like certain reprints that are in the Commander product and things like that. And like, oh, it's a card that's never been printed before. Guess what the mechanic is or whatever. And it's, it, it seems odd because first of all, with Twitter being Twitter and, and kind of Magic fans being what they are, you, the Wizards staff have to be very careful with the clues that they give out. Although I can say, if I read this correctly, that today... Blake uh, gave out a clue, and it kind of was answered almost immediately. And his response was, well, that was fast, and kind of admitted to everybody that that's what it was and, and revealed it early. But then in today's podcast, they also had Allison reading the art description of a character and, like, vaguely describing the character. And, and at that point, it was like, that's... Like, okay, so some people may have been like, oh my god, I totally know exactly who that is, that's amazing, I can't believe this person's coming back, and then they could go on Reddit, for example, and people on Reddit could either tell them, or they could tell people on Reddit, or whatever. But, and so that's another way, but the card's literally being spoiled tomorrow, so I don't know how important or necessary that was. Why not just preview the cards then make the podcast, and then in the podcast, talk about the cards and talk about the story behind the characters depicted in the cards. Again, I say poor planning. I, I and Blake himself admitted to the fact that in this podcast, he really hadn't... I mean, he said it in a joking way, but he was like, I didn't prepare for this, basically. Uh, I, may like, yeah, have, yeah, I may not have... Yeah, I may not have... We can tell... And we could tell last week, too. Except, except, and I'll say one thing, because I know you didn't follow this stuff today, and I did. Um, Blake did mention Teferi today. And Allison kind of backed him up with, yes, these are the things that Teferi did. Um, you know, he, he phased out an entire continent to try to save it from the Phyrexians. And that card was spoiled today, showing Teferi, showing him phasing out everything, and, and the fact that phasing is returning in Commander, and you have people kind of uh, speculating on the fact that phasing will return in our return to Dominaria. Totally a possibility, and that's a really cool thing, is that, you know, phasing is a, a, a keyword or an ability that hasn't been around in years, like over a decade, possibly two decades. Like yeah, it's been it's a mechanic I've never heard of. Right. It's been a very long time. I think that they're going to need to streamline the... Um, rulings on it a little bit more because I think that people were a little confused with it. It's sure not banding um, for those of you that understand at all what I'm talking about right now, but it nope. sure wasn't right. <laughs> and that's what I say. That's why I say it sure wasn't banding, but phasing was still something that, you know, needs to be discussed a little bit. But regardless, that's 
kind of really neither here nor there. But they did show us Teferi today. But they didn't talk about that in the podcast. They were just like, oh yeah, Teferi did that a while ago. And it's like, but you previewed that card today. I saw that card today. So why can't you talk about it? Why can't we have that discussion? As opposed to just the wink, wink, nudge, nudge. If you saw the card, you get it. But this is a magic story podcast. Why not talk to me about it? Why not enhance honestly, that a little bit more? I honestly think that they made these podcasts ahead of time. They did. They talked about that. With no knowledge of when things were getting spoiled. Well, they knew they knew enough of when like day-wise of when things were being spoiled because they said like today we did vampires, which was correct and and they were like, "Oh, and then tomorrow is going to be wizards." But it's like, "But okay, but you knew that, so why wouldn't you like you said at that point <laughs> then have planned your podcast releases around that?" Exactly. And you would have only had to have had one that was released prior to the spoilers. And again, I feel like the Dragon Tribe would have been the most, best one to do that with because there's still so much to talk about. And uh, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure those some of those dragons were either leaked or purposefully delivered to us early just to show like, hey, a little bit of hype. So you could have talked about that if it was a purposeful um, spoiler. Um, but if it was a leak, they probably wouldn't want to talk about it because they don't want to kind of incentivize people to leak right. things oh, anymore. Right, something? Let's talk about right. it. Right. So I can understand that, but at the same time, those were the cards that people knew about before the spoilers started, for better or worse. And so you can do a Dragons podcast and just not talk about the dragons that are going to be in the set. And if that's the case, I still hope that next week and the week after, when they talk about dragons and cats i hope that they talk about the cards that have been spoiled because if they keep doing this like oh being coy and not actually telling you now it's at that point i feel like it would be a little insulting because we know the cards at that point so there's no need to be coy about it unless it was like amy said kind of very poor planning and not realizing when things were being spoiled and yeah, etc Honestly, I think that what they could have done, <clears throat> easily could have done, was include all of the information about the spoilers that were going to occur in these podcasts in an effective manner and only aired the podcasts the day of a spoiler or the well, following week or whatever that happened. But that, and that's why I said that's... that's but they just didn't bother. That's what it seems like. It, it was interesting. It was an interesting choice for them to have done it that way. I, I don't think so. I think it was literally by the seat of their pants. I, they just didn't include information in these podcasts that they should have been able to include because they didn't want to spoil anything, yet the spoilers are happening. So it's really stupid. It's, it's a, that's a possibility, mm -hmm. and I, I you know... I. I I am curious, the reason I said it was interesting is because I'm curious as to what their thought process was behind doing it this way, if there was one. I mean, like Amy said, it, it might have just been spur of the moment and they just did it because they were like, we got to get one of these out or whatever. But if that's not the case, I really want to know what their thought was in doing this and what they hoped to gain from it. Um, shifting slightly, I want to talk about positives a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I think the conversation about Teferi was nice. Again, the fact that the card was spoiled means that I, I, I get it. I, I'm in on the joke a little bit because I understand that you say that he's your favorite, but you're saying it because there's a card that's going to come out and be spoiled depicting him. So you kind of want people to have him in the backs of their minds. And, um, there was discussion as to whether Teferi was actually dead or not. This is online. Uh, there was discussion as to whether Teferi was actually dead or not. Now that they're showing him on a card, it's much more likely that he's not, but it's depicting the thing that he did in the past, so he still could be. That's kind of up in the air, <laughs> which is odd. Um, <clears throat> but the other thing, and again, if you've been watching for a long time, you know this already, um, but uh, Allison who shares, and who, uh, I should say I share 
her love for Gisa and I say Giralf, she says Garalf. She's probably correct. I'm just going to say Giralf because that's what I've always said. So uh, I apologize for the mispronunciation, but uh, she mentioned Gisa and Giralf. And she mentioned that um, she has an idea of a sequel to the story that she wrote for, for them, which was entitled Games Back for Shadows of Innistrad. I didn't have to look that up. I just remember that because I loved that this story. Is like his favorite. Story. It was well, really one yes. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it was an amazing story. It's not it was your absolute favorite. No, but. it was told super well. It was told very uniquely. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> we did a review of that story, and maybe I'll put that one at the end as well as kind of an Easter egg for people. Um, but I loved that story very much. I really enjoyed it. Like I said, it was a very unique way of storytelling, and you could tell. Because she has talked about it herself, Allison, many times. You can tell that Allison really enjoyed writing that story and writing about those characters. I was really disappointed that we didn't have more of their story in Eldritch Moon since their card was in Eldritch Moon. Right. And as she pointed out, and I already knew this, and so did everybody else who was paying attention, because of the cards in Eldritch Moon that showed Gisa and Jarolf or had... Uh, flavor text of their conversations with one another, they did reconcile because I guess spoilers at the end of that story, they had not met yet. This was all, it was all to the game story was all told through letters back and forth. When he says met, he means <clears throat> seeing each other in person. Correct. Not, not met for the not first met time. Not for the first time. No, they're so brother and sister. Yes. And, and Allison was able to give a little bit more insight into their backstory, which was vaguely told to us but never specifically told right. and so she was able to confirm that it is canonical that uh, they each teamed up with a different parent when the parents were going through a spat they used the parents used the children to fight one another instead of the parents fighting one another during the fight the house lit on fire and the parents died and in the game's story you get to hear Gisa and Giralf discussing that, and one of them is at the parents' grave site, uh, I, I think Gisa, and, like, resurrecting them, and doing all these weird things that Giralf is like, stop doing that, and getting all upset. <laughs> really neither here nor there. Like I said, please go uh, listen to our review. I really enjoyed it, and it's not just Amy and I in that one. So definitely go yes. check that one out. It, it'll, like I said, it'll, it'll pop up on the screen at the end. I think it's definitely worth your time. But, um, but... That was a moment, again, I love Allison's passion. I always have, I feel like I always will. She, you could tell that she was enjoying talking about Gisa and Giralf. You could tell that she was passionate and especially because of the fact that she was like, oh, I have this story written already. So aside from Gisa and Giralf or after Gisa and Giralf, the only other thing I wanted to talk about personally about this whole thing was their banter. I mentioned at the beginning, we actually had some discussions in the comments of the last video, and so thank you to all of you who did comment, as always. I, I always appreciate, we always appreciate comments and discussion. Yes. Um, there, were, there was kind of a, a, a discussion going on between us and some of the commenters in terms of their banter, and that there, there is a reason for it, right? Because you don't want them to just come up and go, Teferi is a wizard. He phased out things. I like Teferi. And I am asking you a question. Right. And then on to the next one. Right. the answer. <laughs> right. As opposed to making a joke here or there or whatever. And somebody pointed out, similar to what Amy and I do, at least in a way. Um, and it's, it's just the idea of otherwise it would be boring as hell. Yeah. And it's, it's something for the two of them to do together. They work together. They know each other. Presumably they like each other as people uh, and, and appreciate each other's company enough to be willing to do this. Um, and you can kind of tell that based on how they interact with one another. They're pretty comfortable uh, with talking about these things and, and kind of playing off one another. And that's really nice to see. Uh, in this one, like I said, I felt like the banter was a lot more lighthearted, and I appreciated it a little bit more. Um, there was the moment where the lights went out that they kind of talked about. I felt like that went on for maybe a little bit too long. Way too long. Okay, good. I was trying to be a little bit more conservative, but that's yep. fair. Um, yeah, I, I thought it went on. I thought it went on a little too long. I thought that it would be kind of funny, you know, for them to like kind of comment on it and then 
be like, it's super weird, and then, you know, maybe we'll edit it out. No, we won't. We'll keep it for posterity. Okay, that's funny. But they went on and on and on yeah. for a well, little yeah. bit too long Filler. on that one. They had nothing real to say. Which, which is interesting because, again, this was shorter than last week's. And they did have, you know, that, that moment, and I think that was, there were other little things here and there, which I'm sure totaled seconds to a minute in total. But that one, I feel like, was the one that took out the most time. Um, but it, otherwise, I'm okay with banter. I have no problems with it, and I enjoy it. And like I said, I enjoyed it here. Um, I just thought that with the discussion of the lights going out, it went a little too long and had nothing at all. And to the point where they even came back from the banter being like, so, hey, how about this Commander product? You know, because even they hey, realized... What were we talking about? Right. Was even they realized that it was... thing we were trying to reference? Yeah. It had, it oh, had yeah. been a while since they were talking about it. So that was my only commentary on the banter. I liked it. I thought it was fun, lighthearted, better than last week. But at the one point, it went a little too far. Yeah, I disagree. I think it was worse than last week. Okay. Last week, I feel like they tried to be funny and missed the mark. This time, I think they tried to be funny and cute and just wasting a lot of time with that chatter. And all of it felt forced. Hmm. And it, it legitimately annoyed me. Hmm. Like, I just wanted to tell them to shut up. Okay, so, so, with that being said, I was a little bit more optimistic, although I still agree that it is relatively skippable, but I will reiterate what I said last week about my um, lack of interest in purchasing this Commander product, and so, uh, simply because I am not a person who has the occasion to play Commander, um, and so, that being the case, if you are a person who is interested in purchasing this, did you get more out of this than I did, than we did? Yes, please um, offer up some of your insights so that we can kind of look at that and hopefully, at least hopefully my perception of it will slightly change uh, based on what you've said because it has left a bad taste in my mouth and I like that taste to vary in a positive way, I, if possible. Next week, we are back to talk about dragons. Even though last week and this week were not the best, we will not stop regardless because we want to keep hoping, first of all, obviously hoping that it gets better, but also yes. bringing our opinions to all of you <laughs> and letting you all know what we think. And wanting to hear your feedback as well. Correct. Because, Correct. Uh, you know, as we said, we're not into Commander. I'm not even really into playing the game at all. So if you've got a different perspective, please share it with us. Because yes. we really, we want to know and we want to, um, like I said, I at least want, want my perception of it to change slightly. Or, or I want to gain some understanding a little bit. And if we are, you know, if the podcast next week or the week after is bad and short, it'll also just kind of give us something, another discussion to have in the video itself, right. kind of more broadly than the particulars of dragons or cats or whatever. So, right. Um, There'll be more to our video than just, hey, this sucked. <laughs> next. <laughs> Speaking of next, we will be back next week with another episode of JAR. Uh, if you want, when it comes up, uh, you can click our logo to subscribe to our channel. You'll find out when more JAR episodes come out. We have product openings every Monday, and we have drafts, uh, Magic the Gathering Online drafts, every Saturday. Yes, make sure you watch that Booster Box opening. Oh, that Booster Box opening was it cool. It was insane. All so right. If you haven't seen it yet, please watch it. Yes, and like I said, those videos that I was talking about will be popping up on the screen over my face, <laughs> over Amy's face, whatever. Um, yeah, somewhere, I don't know. This has been another episode of JAR on Geek For All. I've been Joe. And I'm Amy. Thank you guys so much for showing off your... Hashtag Vorthos Pride. We will see you all next week. And as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody.